All right, welcome everyone to a new video. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys my thoughts on the coaching industry. And it's really general thoughts. I prepared a little bit of an outline, uh, but really general thoughts on the space where I, you know, like see the differences of when I started versus where the space is at today, of where we're headed for, kind of like, you know, what I see in general happen within the industry. And there's some tips and tricks to really stay in the game and what I would focus on if I were a coach just starting out as well as scaling. So. With that being said, let's dive into it. So guys, I wanna start this out with a little bit of a personal life update um, because right now I'm actually in the new office in Portugal. That is the view from uh, where I'm sitting right here. We'll look at it, it's a beautiful day today in Portugal. But yeah, I'm here because for number one, tax reasons. Um, you know, in 2021, we made 5 million um, yeah, in sales, in revenue, and then we uh, collected about 4 million off that and then we profited about 3 million. So it's been a really good year in 2021 for Millionaire Consulting. And then of course we opened up a new company as well at the end of 2021, which is appointmentcenter.com as many of you may or may not know. Uh, but yeah, like we are having a heavy tax bill this year of I believe anywhere between six to 700K. Gotta like actually swallow when I say that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's one of the main reasons I'm here. And so in Portugal, you can actually open up something called a non-habitual residency. And I don't know the exact details of it, but my tax advisor has told me on like the big things that I need to know suggest that I pay 10% tax instead of 52. So world of a difference and you know, as I'm young, I really wanna build, hence why like I'm also now located in Portugal to really keep more of what I make and not just, you know, hand it off to the government, even though like I feel it's good, sure, to like, you know, invest into your country for infrastructure and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm sure like we all want to build our wealth and hit our goals and hence why like I'm in Portugal right now. So. That's a little bit of an update. We're also gonna be doing our first in-person event for only mastermind clients here in Portugal pretty soon, which is very exciting. We're gonna do it in August, September, and it's only accessible for mastermind clients. And then other than that, uh, we're gonna get a puppy. It's the last thing in July. Uh, it's gonna be Toy Poodle Pup. We've already reserved the cutie, and we're gonna pick, or actually, no, he's gonna come over here with uh, someone to you know get dropped off and then live here with us in Portugal. And also I'll make a new video, I'll do like a house tour or something cool like that pretty soon, maybe like for the next video. But yeah, for now, I wanna talk about my thoughts, guys, on the coaching industry and where I see it headed. Okay, because a lot has changed and I wanna talk about right now how my company started Millionaire Consulting, how it grew, where it's at now, and where it's headed for. So it started back in October, 2020, and you know, I had a really, and I still do have a great audience and at the time I launched this new offer in October, 2020, and we did hundred grand in our first month and we only used organic marketing. And the main benefit that we had is I had a lot of time and energy in my hands as I wasn't doing like crazy numbers. Um, I was able to really nurture relationships already have people in my audience hit hundred K my first month. And then in June, 2021, we hit 500 K in a month. And then from there, we've always been hovering around that mark. Now, that's kind of like how the company started and very quickly how it grew is mainly organic marketing appointment setters and stuff like that as you guys know like i always talk about this stuff in my facebook group in my on my youtube on my instagram um, but yeah that's really been the main focus still is the main focus but market is evolving things are changing and i'm starting to notice that with time more and more and more and as you are in business and you're in it for the long term you got to understand like how to handle these market shifts and adapt yourself accordingly to it. So that's really what I wanna talk about more in depth. And um, right now we're heavily focused on a couple of things. So I'll tell you in general where we're headed for, right? And then from there, like I'll tell you guys, you know, uh, where I see the market in general head for, and also what I believe you need to stay in the game. And yes, I'm reading off an agenda to make sure I can give you guys proper value. Um, but right now we're focused on a couple of things, right? So number one, we're reworking our offer. I'm gonna actually attach a wait list for you guys right here down below, um, because look, Everyone in the space, um, you know, especially business coaches, they offer organic plus some basic stuff like some systems. But in order to really stay in the game and be at, you know, the top three of the people in your niche, you want to have a good offer, right? And you need to be able to understand what the baseline is based on which market you're in by having awareness of like what competitors are doing, how sales calls are going, what your conversion rate is. And we've seen a decline in a multitude of things when it comes down to offer, right? And so in my space, in the business coaching space, I noticed that I need to offer a little bit more than we're currently doing. Not as in like, here's like value in the back, but more so, you know, 
uh, something that can help people get results fast and most importantly, sustainably. And so right now we're reworking our offer and really making sure that people are, you know, getting on a call and are like, wow, this is super good, right? Like sign me up. Oh, I don't even have the money. Hold up for a second. Let me get the money, right? Like that's the kind of reactions we're uh, wanting to create right now. And, um, you know, we just offer we have right now for our core, we feel we're not having that effect as we were last year as organic last year was super, super hot, but it's like the client it still works for sure. You know, we're practicing, we're preaching and you know, it's still at the core of what we teach, but you know, as times change, you know, you two have to adapt based on what's changing. So that's what we're doing, making sure the offer is really dialed in. And so if you're a coach in the health space, in the mindset space, in the wealth space, whatever it is, you want to make sure you have competition awareness, you understand what people's reaction is on the sales call, you collect uh, constructive feedback. And then also you want to make sure that, you know, people are actually really excited about the offer based on the feedback, which is basically point two. So that's really number one, what I feel like you must have in place if you really want to stay in the game long term, right? So offer creation, number two, it's making sure you get your clients results. And this has always been at the core of, I feel, you know, just coaching because all coaching really is, is providing someone a transformation, whether that's, you know, in the business space and the health space and the mindset space, whatever it is, like making sure you have client results. Other than that, it's also keeping it really simple because when you skill, and I'm going to like kind of talk about the zero to 50 K per month journey, you don't need more than two salespeople on your team. Like all you need is a closer and a setter and then an operations person on the back end. And then if you're still doing coaching yourself, you don't even need a head coach. So you really want to keep it simple on like a fundamental level. But then also when you want to make sure that you keep it that way when you actually go to hundred grand a month, because most people just hire, you know, part-time here, part-time there, we can job there. But really what you want to have is a players that commit full time and through that keeping your team simple. Uh, and with it, you also create more loyalty as you know, like the communication and team culture is strong when people are like always there and you know, full time available. And that's also what I've seen. So really keeping it simple. And lastly, leading by example, right? Like if you want your team to perform at a high level, you got to show up for your business. You got to come up with a plan. You got to like understand what the vision is and also describe that to people and make them excited by it. Right. So, so far, like what we've covered guys is just my thoughts on where I see the market in general head for what you really need to focus on as a leader, as a coach in your company, if you want to stay in the game long term and run a sustainable business that's grown at a healthy pace. Now, other than that, I'll give you guys a couple of things that I feel are working really well today that you can try to for your coaching business. But before I dive into that, I really kind of want to like give my two cents on the big changes that I've seen from 2021 to 2022. So the big changes that I've seen is that trust is harder to build, right? So hence you need social proof and you need to understand how to market, right? Like I saw this quote yesterday and it said, good marketing to people feels like that they're not being marketed to. Having a sales call with someone doesn't feel like a sales call. And that's like what you want to create in every single department to prospects and making sure you're at that high level. Now, what I've seen in 2021, and I've done this too, and I've taught this too, is that, you know, like you run promos and you do hard call to actions and it's great and all, and you get a lot of sales and that's really what worked insanely well in 2021. And it still works really well, just not in a business coaching space, at least what I've seen anymore, but still in other like kind of spaces. So just, you know, um, I've got a client who's doing wedding filmmaking, which is super cool. I've got a client who's helping people find their purpose. And, you know, those strategies still work really great for that. But if you're a business coach, um, you know, what I've seen is that you really want to make sure you're providing more value, you show more behind the scenes of your life, you show social proof, you innovate, and, you know, you have a combination of these things that really allow you to have a powerful brand, which then, you know, gets people in the, in the door with organic marketing. And so like, that's really required of you on the front end organically. Now on the paid ad side, I'm noticing like, look, at one point you just need new lead flow and new eyeballs constantly introduced. And hence why like we too have been going pretty heavy on paid ads to make sure we can have that combination, right? So having a combination between new lead flow, good paid ad ecosystem and organic and a team is ultra key, right? So you want to make sure you have that because without that, it's just going to be very, very difficult to make sales. 
Now, here's how you can do it. Um, and this is what I wanted to dive into a minute ago. So here's how you can do it. So right now we have a uh, paid ad ecosystem which exists out of the following kind of ad objectives we have, right? So we do Facebook and IG ads and we have a low ticket offer. We have a uh, add to group and then we also have a add to book a call. So those three things. Now the low ticket offer is great because it allows us to build more trust and also start a conversation with people who purchase into this product. Number two, the group funnel. So the free Facebook group where we basically have some trainings from, for people that they can actually access um, when they join. And then what we do is we actually leverage the group questions to uh, you know, start a conversation with people. And then from there have our appointments that are have conversations with the people that actually join. And lastly, book a call is pretty passive. So you know that's not really something that uh, you know, I can explain how it works. We basically just send people to our website. But those two things, guys, like the paid lead flow and then that getting them into organic with a setter is the most powerful thing by far that I have seen, right? Now, the second and last thing that I'm gonna like just give as a value, um, if you're you know, a business coach or you're in the health space or you're in the uh, mindset space, is actually the following. It's increase, increasing the lifetime value of your clients. Now, you can do this through multiple ways. The first best way is ascending people, right? So getting your most successful client that either had a really good experience with you or also got a really good experience and good results, that's like the ideal situation, right? Actually getting them to buy into your next package, right? And there goes a couple of things into that. I can make a separate video about it, like how to send people, but increasing life and value of clients, ascensions is freaking awesome. It's basically just, uh, you know, approaching your existing clients, starting a conversation and getting them like into the next level. And then you have another way, which is, you know, renewing, down sell continuation, and those are basically the things we're, we're also focused on. So that's like kind of the components, guys, that we're leveraging to really make sure we're staying in the game. So to kind of like recap, reworking our offer, building a really powerful team, increasing life and value of clients, having a good combination between paid and organic, and that's like really how you stay in the game on a marketing and sales level. And now when it comes down to other components, like, you know, such as building out a team, which is super duper important. Right now, I run a team of a total of 25 people between both businesses, because I have two businesses. One is called uh, appointmentcenter.com, which if you go to the website, you can see basically what it's about. And then I've got consulting.com. So take it from me. Right now, I'm running two seven-figure businesses, uh, running a team of 25 people. Um, and we're doing really, really well last month. Uh, you know, just to give you guys like an idea, we collected $440,000. So that's cash in the bank that we pretty much like got between both businesses. And that's, you know, like all the things that I just stated right here. So guys, that's my thoughts on the consulting industry, like kind of where I see the big differences, what we're focused on. Um, and yeah, with that being said, guys, if you want my personal help with actually starting or scaling your coaching business, there are some links in the description you can check out and, you know, like just kind of get familiar with what I do. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.